for today. We're doing, um, we're gonna replace the cabin filters. Last time I had to fix the, uh, the blower fan mesh. Uh, I've cleaned out all the, uh, uh, the leaves that were in there. Um, and today we, um, we're gonna do the uh, cabin filter. So I removed uh, the cover, the trunk mat. See it? Uh -huh. So the first thing we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna remove the uh, negative. So it's right there. We're just gonna unscrew this, remove the, the plug, and then uh, we go to the uh, under the dash passenger side and we start working there. Okay, now we are under the dash passenger side. Uh, we're gonna try, we're gonna start by removing this trim here on the side, as you can see it. So there's one Phillips screw here. So we're gonna remove that and then we'll just pry this one out. Well, probably some of the clips will fall. Let me just remove this. I think this was for uh, dash cam, I think. Okay, so we're gonna be using a, a Torx 20, so it's a T20, just one of them. Okay, remove this guy. And we're removing this to clear the way for the airbag to come down because it's right in the way. Just like I said, the clip will fall off, but then you'll just put it back. It slides in. All right, so it's back in. So this will give us enough clearance. So you just move it to the side to drop the air back. Okay, the one after removing the T20s, now we have to remove Phillips and you'll see Just so you can get a visual. Try to get your visual. So you see, we removed the T20 from there. Now we're gonna remove this Torx. It could be a T20, I'm not sure. And then we did the same thing on this side. All right, so it looks like a T25 will do it. So let's go at it. Another T25 on this side. That bag should come down. Just to show you. So actually removing that airbag, it's actually not enough. You have to remove the whole plastic. And this plastic piece came, as soon as I pulled on it, it came down. So you'd be able to rest it like this. The only thing I had to remove, let me just. So the only thing I had to remove was the plug for the cigarette lighter. So you can pretty much remove leave everything as is and you can see here that the airbag unit this plastic these tabs they go under the airbag so these they have like holders and retainers here let me try to uh, show it So the plastic piece is the first one 
and this is the airbag. So what happens is they go under. Ah, see, I got one and two in, but this one didn't. So let me just try it again. And you'll see it here. Boom, it slides right under. So it's pretty much just take the whole thing because the airbag connector honestly it's not something I want to mess with because there will be like very expensive pit fix I'm sure you just pull on it but it's just not something I'm willing to mess with if I had another way of doing things without having to deal with the airbag connector so be it so the only thing I removed is the uh, cigarette lighter plug which is this one here we get to the cabin filter T20 just to give you an idea where the screws are because when you watch the videos they make it seem so easy but it's actually well you can't see it so one there one there one there and now that one so if you can't it's it's hard to locate them i'm not gonna lie but i was sitting there trying to find it by feel and this is the way you gotta do it and, you know I'm sorry I'm, made, I'm making you go through this. I just want you to see, like, be ready for it. So you don't go by exactly what us YouTubers show you, because sometimes we just, for the sake of saving time, we uh, we do it. But uh, yeah, it doesn't mean it's it's like that. That's what it what it's gonna be like. keep having to worry about this plug the airbag plug because if I if anything happens to it I had mentioned this when I did my video for the uh, fan blower and how all that stuff that was disintegrated went into the uh, fan blower I'm sure it's somewhere in the uh, in here in the cabin filters well yeah this is it yeah it's pretty uh, it's pretty obvious when I uh, when I removed them I even found there you go so all when that mesh the blower fan mesh fails and it gets disintegrated sucked into the uh, lower into the uh, the cabin well this is what's gonna catch it it's this guy here look at this so anybody who has replaced that fan blower cover should definitely replace the cabin filters because look at them I mean and this is the one closer to the uh, passenger side we're gonna remove the one closer to the engine bay you can see the stuff now if you can catch it but that's the mesh and these fell out so now let's move the other one and see what comes out you see it you saw it right this is the mesh Yeah, I, I kind of figured I knew it was going to happen once I saw the amount. So 
same thing. I mean, it's really bad. Ah, I'm glad I'm replacing these. So we're gonna put this one, the closer one, the one closer to the engine, arrow pointing towards the engine. So again, this one is passenger, so we're going to put it in a way where it's blowing towards passengers. Let me show you. So it's this way. The arrow is pointing towards me, towards the camera. I'm gonna put everything back. I'm gonna save you the agony of finding where each screw goes. But uh, um, I think at this point, the video is pretty much done. I'm glad I got to see what uh, the. Um, let me just let me just show you real quick. Just for those who didn't see the last, well, one of the videos I made about the. Uh, the fan blower is located under there and it's, it, it's got a cover on it and the cover has a mesh on this side that kind of is supposed to, you know, stop any debris from getting into the blower, right? Into the fan. But uh, over time with all those, see all those leaves there, they kind of get through here. They got different spots where they get in and they end up getting stuck there. And over time, the problem is the mesh is made out of this material that over time it just becomes kind of like it, it's it's just if, if it, it disintegrates and uh, you end up with all that debris going inside the, the actual blower. So what it does, it you notice it when you go inside the car and start the engine and then put your air conditioning on or heater, you'll hear constant humming and it gets louder and louder as more stuff is in there and if you just forget it and not do anything about it eventually the blower the motor will blow and uh so when i was doing that i saw how much crap was inside um, not the first cover but the actual blower it has a cover on it too that you have to remove it's all in my video if you go check out my channel you'll see the video and i looked at all the debris i'm like there's no way i mean this is just sat there it must have gone through the system into the air filters and the cabin air filters are the ones that are going to catch it. And as you can see, they, that's what happened. You know, they caught all that stuff. But nonetheless, you know, it's still, it's still messing up your air quality inside the car. And if you, somebody who spends a lot of time in your car, then, you know, that's kind of you breathing all that. Um, so, yeah, this is, um, I finally, you know, I, I, it was just a guess. I was like, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find a lot of crap in the uh, filters and uh, as it turned out that's exactly what what I found I think the video is pretty much done but I just wanted to put an emphasis on the uh, if you are in the process of fixing your blower fan mesh the cover please take your time and replace the cabin air filters because when I made that video I just took a guess. I'm like, if I saw all this crap in the fan blower, I'm pretty sure most of it went inside and got caught by the cabin filters. So as you can see, my cabin filters were disgusting. Uh, they had a whole bunch of, they had the uh, the 
the mash filter itself was in there um, they had dried up leaves in there so just take the time um, you know if you're doing this job I I'll say it's a must to do the other one and to be honest with you I did this job right after I heard the sound so the way you know your fan blower the mesh is gone is that when you turn on your your AC or your heating system you'll hear a humming noise like uh, like it's almost you know it's something that has to do with something that's spinning so it's your fan blower the motor spinning but it's like gl not grinding grinding like metal but you hear it like so and you know it's not normal because you've never heard it before so you know it's a dead giveaway that this is what the issue is but if you fix this please take the time and do your cabin filters i know it's annoying part of finding the most annoying part for me right now is finding the screws where they go again if you replace your fan blower filter the casing the the the, the, the plastic cover please replace your cabin filters it, it it has to do with air quality when you're inside the car and you want to be breathing something clean um again if you have the time i know sometimes we watch youtube videos on a mobile device where we're not signed in we can't subscribe but if you can just take a couple of minutes to subscribe to my channel to help me out at least reach a thousand subscribers i would really appreciate it um it's really important for youtubers to at least get a thousand you start to see some results um, but I didn't start this YouTube channel because I wanted to make money I honestly did it to help people out um, I, w I remember when I used to work my, on my cars it, it was it was all discussion forums we went there and we asked questions people posted pictures that's how it was yeah, now not so much now it's YouTube videos and it's great because it's got a visual and I'm a visual learner which uh, and I try to m give you as accurate of the footage as possible just so you have an accurate idea of what you're getting yourself into. So please, if you can take the time, just, you know, subscribe, um, give a like if the video was helpful in any way, and I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much.